had us on all the time. Yes, the mics were on all the time. This is Matt Bossman here in beautiful Kirtland, Ohio at Lake Effect Radio Station. What's the name of the show? This is Beyond Questions with Matt Bossman. Good job, good job. And Tom Butler. Yep, there we go. And that person thing, Jeremiah. That person thing. Everybody, welcome to the show. (laughs) Known as the general manager, Jeremiah. You like that? (laughs) What's what's your DJ name? That person thing. Huh? What's your DJ name? It was cray cray. Oh gosh, get rid of that. Huh? That that's like over that. like three years ago. I never yeah. haven't even really used that. Well, what's a new one? I haven't come up with anything. Well, by the end of this show, we want one. Okay, so <laughs> think right. about it. that's your that's your job today. <laughs> Don't tell me how to live my life. I will tell you what I want, boy. I could say something, but I can't necessarily say it right now. Because say it and then get impeached. Yeah. All right. So anyway, welcome to the show, everyone. This is Beyond Question. I am DJ Boss with DJ Grizzly. Hello. And that the one who shall not be named. That one Jeremiah, person thing. That one person hey, thing. Hey, by it sounds sort tree. of proper, but improper. So today, something I saw on first take this morning before I came I, up to I, school. I was just thinking of something. DJ Dat Boy. No, no, no. <laughs> that, that that sounds boy. stupid. No, <laughs> and plus, um, I'm not a Saints fan. Eh. So Tony Romo has not filed his retirement paper yet. Okay, his papers yet. So they're wondering if he's going to stay currently on the roster for the Cowboys. Um, if he did, and decided he wasn't going to play at all, but all right. how much pressure does that add to Dak Prescott? Um, knowing that Romo's behind him. Would well, that make the team better, or would that collapse? Because the Cowboys uh, won 13 I mean, games last year. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's, it doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be more pressure on Dak just because he did perform well last year when he knew that Tony Romo was behind him. Okay. So, I mean, there's always going to be that sophomore slump when, you, when it comes to any uh, professional sports. But I'm like, is Tony Romo gotta be the reason for the sophomore slump? I doubt it. Okay, I, I, I put it more mm-hmm. on just Dak being Dak, or people figuring him out a little. Yeah, exactly. Like that's the same reason that I wouldn't think that Zeke would have the same impact next year. Okay, what about you, Jeremiah? What do you think? I think people start figuring him out, like Dak. You know, and that, but then... he's still kind of a typical quarterback. He's not the dual threat yeah. quarterback that we all thought he'd be. They're going to start figuring him out, and then he's going to start slacking just yeah. like Zeke. But we, have, you know, but, like the key will be: does how well does Dak Prescott change to how people are playing him defensively? I really think it goes on the offensive line. It's so good in Dallas that I think it. They're just they, they, they're going to be able to stay the way they are. They lost what one of the tackles. On the line, uh, in free maybe agency, I think. I yeah, thought. I think you're right. I think yeah. you're right. I can't and I can't remember if it was another one. I think just one, or one of the backups too. Okay, so one or the other. In talking about that, we'll move on to something else because Tony Romo doesn't really matter. Right. Um, Tell us how that really makes you feel. Yeah, he's he's terrible. No, he Actually, really, I he I posted, really should be on the cover of PGA though. I I posted something he, he would be on. More uh, on that. On uh, Facebook about, uh, you saw it. Yep. It was Tony Romo on the cover of NBA 2K18. Because, and because there was like a little thing that, it wasn't it the Maverick? No, the Mavericks let him retire a Maverick. Yeah. For like, they were not, like, like he, they were fake putting him into the game. And I think what's funny is that he hasn't retired from that either. <laughs> so he's still on the Mavericks roster. And they're not in the playoffs, luckily. But if they were, he would be on the playoff roster. That Whoa. would be funny as it could be. But anyway, um, so looking at the NBA playoffs, um, and plus my buddy, who's from Texas, John Stewart, I knew him from going to the yeah. Florida school. Um, he was a huge Dallas Cowboys, Mavericks, Stars, all things Dallas okay. fan. Because he lives close to Dallas. And he said he has always hated Tony Romo. Okay. I thought that was interesting because he's a Texas guy, a big homer. No, I, I would figure and that most 
I figure a whole bunch of Dallas people actually hate Tony Romo. Well, I, I thought it was he, surprising. He's a little too goody two shoes for somebody mm-hmm. who would be a, he hasn't a Texas made person. It. He hasn't made it in the playoffs in that forum. Yeah, no. he hasn't done anything really. I mean, they haven't made it what past the second round in the playoffs. No, yeah, ever? They're, they're bad. But I'm I'm okay with that with the self proclaimed America's team. Anyway, so oh, no. looking at the NBA playoffs, the matchups are set. Cavs take the two seed uh, with their loss to the Raptors yesterday in Boston, defeating Milwaukee. Um, again, the Cavs sat Love, Kyrie, and LeBron yesterday. Okay. But looking forward, do the Cavs have a threat in the East? Is it Boston? Is-, is it Washington? Oh, Atlanta? I thought you were saying, are they a threat in the East? I'm like, that's a very stupid that's beyond question. question. But do they have okay. another threat? Or are you taking the Cavs? Or are you taking the field for the East? See, that that actually is a good proposition bet. Um, bet, bro, bet. I I'm still picking the Cavs <laughs> in the East. There's, they'll figure it out. Yeah. they'll come together and all. Like that. I, I remember trolling Kyle so hard, after every single time, like he was talking about how the Cavaliers lost the Heat in overtime. Yeah, blowing a lead. Yeah, and I was like, the Hawks went. Uh, it was it was against the, the Hawks. Hawks. They lost a twenty six point lead. Oh, well, all right. I remember it was the two heat overtimes. Game. It was the Heat game. The Heat game. The yeah, heat they game lost in overtime too. About. Uh, so he was talking about the Heat game and how the Cavaliers lost a number one seed. And yeah. Kyle, and I, I was like, so when does the regular season ever matter in, like, aside from seeding? Yeah, because, true. Because yeah. I remember, in, like, in the past number of years, there's been, like, uh, like in the past ten years, the New England Patriots went 17-0 and in the regular season cleaned out every single team in the AFC, and then lost to the New York Giants in the Super Bowl. Right. Well, then you look at and then last the other year, one, and then Golden the, State. Exactly. Then I was like, then there's this certain Warriors team that set the record for most wins in an NBA season. Right, right. And then they had a 3-1 series lead and blew it. And they were down 3-1 against Kyle, the And I asked Kyle, and I asked Kyle, do you know who they lost that 3-1 lead to? Yeah. And he did not respond at all because I know who Kyle is. Yeah, I mean, I do think mm-hmm. it would be a very nice thing for the Cavs to have that one seed. I thought it would be kind of a no question thing, like a beyond question when someone would ask me in November, are the Cavs going to be the one seed going into the East playoffs? I would have said absolutely. Oh, yeah, I would have said absolutely. And the thing about it that's funny to me is that this team is falling apart somewhat Mm -hmm. um, when they need to come together the most. And everyone, you know, mentions that flip of the switch that we usually do in the playoffs, but... Is that, you know, LeBron's third season here, is that going to happen? Because we've oh, yeah. seen fatigue. That, and that's a better question, too. Is fatigue going to be um, the thing of the Cavaliers this year? Like, could that um, destroy them from with it? Well, all right. If the Cavaliers are, like, they've been resting players continuously, pretty much, mm-hmm. for the end of the season. Because... Now, the, like once they know, once they knew that they were in the playoffs, it didn't really matter to them, it, and it shouldn't matter to a team like the Cavaliers. Yeah, but what if they, would you have been concerned if they were like the seven seed? I, I would be a little more concerned if it was the seven seed, but it's like if they're in the top four, I don't mind. It was like I really would not mind because it's the Cavaliers, it's LeBron James. He under he knows what he's doing. He proved that even if you don't have home field adva- home court advantage against one of the best teams ever from yeah. last year's Golden State team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That he could still win an NBA championship for a team that was yeah. starving for it. Yeah, Probably. but looking at, you know, looking at history, you're right. But also looking at the talent in the East. You have oh, yeah. Boston who has Isaiah Thomas mm-hmm. and also Avery Avery Bradley, Jay yeah. Crowder, Al Horford. I mean, yeah, that's that's a, it's pretty a really good. good team. Yeah. That's pretty good. 
and they're the one seed. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. if I name the Cavs roster, you're thinking no one's going to beat them. Not even Golden State and Cleveland, you know, are definitely going to be in the finals. Mm-hmm. LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Tristan Thompson, Kevin Love, J.R. Smith. On the bench, Darren Williams, Iman Shumpert, Kyle Korver, Richard Jefferson, Eddie Tavares, who's a 7-3 center that we just got. Mm-hmm. Um Dante Jones, James Jones, Channing Fry. You know, you look at all these names, and that team's like, whoa, yeah. really? Because when you look at the, the Warriors, they only have four good players. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is kind of there. Or so, two that left in free agency. Who? Did what, Barnes leave? Yeah, but he wasn't anything special. Yeah, well, he, yeah like, well I they were also note that the Warriors replaced him with Kevin Durant. Well, last uh, yeah, that's a bit of an upgrade over Harrison, Harrison Barnes. Barnes. Yeah, I think so. Um, but last year, the I don't believe the Warriors had Zaza Pachulia. Right. Or he wasn't playing as he much didn't. As he he wasn't on Golden State. He was on Dallas. Zaza Pachulia, I can see making a very definitive statement come the finals if the Cavaliers were playing. Why? Because he's a thug. Well, I mean, he he's more th- I I feel Zaza is actually a little more thuggy than Draymond Green. I don't believe that. I I can't believe Like that. Draymond Green does a lot of talking and he'll like, you know, try to back that up. Zaza will just punch you in the face and he don't care. Yeah, that's true. I mean, mm. Zaza Pachulia has quickly become one of my worst or most hated players in the league. Oh yeah. Because he's so like he's old number 1, he's washed up, he's terrible. And then to bat, to cover to put on the mask of his terrible game, he puts on this mask of a thug. And it's like, dude, you and Draymond together are annoying. Yeah. Not in a good way. Like yeah. you make you know, you both score thirty a game. No, there's it, it's yeah, not but, like that, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I, I don't believe that we're gonna see a Warriors team. Like, that I, we've I can, seen in the regular season. I think maybe against Portland, but I don't see I, I, I possibly can against the Clippers because like, I don't see Utah beating the, like, the Clippers. I can fully see in like the first game of the finals, if it's Cavaliers-Warriors, that Pachulia and Tristan Thompson will get into a fight. And it's going to be and it'll be big news. It's that, fake news. That, um, <laughs> personally, I believe... Here, here's my pick. Okay. First round, I got Golden State over Portland, although Portland is going to give them a good test. Okay. Um, I got the Clippers, the Rockets, and the Spurs. Uh, Boston, I'm going to take Washington, Toronto, and the Cavs. Okay. Cavs beat Toronto in six, Boston, and Washington. Oh, that's good. Um, I'm going to say Boston in seven. Yeah. And then uh, Cavs will beat Boston. I actually have Houston beating San Antonio. Ooh, that that's that might be a brave pick. Yeah, and then I have Golden State in five against the Clippers. Um, that, that team's not very much of anything anymore, the Clippers. I would say Houston could take Golden State to six or seven. Okay. But mm. if they take them to six, Houston beats them. If they go to seven, Golden State beats them. Because I think if they get to that sixth game, Houston, if they don't get to a game six, Golden State wins in four or five. But if they get to a sixth game, Houston wins the series. Because it'll be on their home floor. You know what I mean? Houston will be on their home floor in game six? Yeah, because they'd be the underdog. Game one. Oh, uh, yeah, it's 2-2-1-1-1. 2-2-1-1-1, two, two, one, one, one. Two, two, one, the, one, one, yeah. Play, NBA playoffs, okay. Yeah, five and seven. Yeah, I was trying to remember. Yeah, I was trying. I think it's, yeah, it's 2-3-2 two, two for the World Series. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe they should do the 2-3-2 two, two thing in NBA. I mean, yeah, it's just weird. like just get it all together so that we don't have to keep flipping back and forth between what's going on. The finals begin June 1st. I'm nervous for the Cavs, uh, though. I really yeah. am. Because they could play Boston. Boston's knocked him out before when LeBron was here the first time. Yeah, but, but LeBron they... did not have the same supporting cast that he does now. Correct, but the chemistry is not there right now in Cleveland. Yeah. 
it's not where it was when, and I think it's... Yeah, the chemistry is not where it was last year at all. No. And I think it's a lot of that you can put on Kevin Love. Because when Love was injured, the Cavs were rolling. Oh, yeah. And then he comes back with these new additions, D. Will and Bogut, who was out for... Right. Who played 30 seconds. But I... That's still upsetting. Yeah, it, it's horrible. Yeah. Like, I, think, I, I th- like Tavares. I, 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 I really like do. That, I think that was the problem, is that once Bogut went down in 30 seconds, we are just like, really? That, that's, that's I think it had. blindsided us. Yeah. It blindsided the whole yeah. organization. Yeah. The city. I mean, everybody thought that Bogut was going to be that rim protector. Oh, yeah. And plus, he spreads the floor, and he passes really well for a center. He comes here expecting good things. I think the one reason Bogut decided to come here was because he knew Cleveland could play Golden State. Oh, yes. And he could play Golden State and prove his point of, Mm -hmm. you know, you guys let me go, and I just won a championship against you. Yeah. I think that's what he really wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Or you just want to get into the playoffs and then have a chance to win a title. Yeah, I don't don't think if Golden State would have offered him a contract, he would have went back, though. I don't think that would have happened. Well, if not Golden State, but anyone else. If anyone, you know, that can get in the playoffs or he has a chance to maybe add a ring in that, no, you I, probably want to win too. No, that's the thing. Under he, the word, I good feel in the Eastern Conference, the only team he could have signed with was the Cavaliers because that's the only team he feel could have a ring. Yeah, but he yeah. also had a he, contract he, he could... offer from the Rockets and Boston. And Boston was really looking good for really him heavy, because yeah. he would have started. Yeah. And so that could have been to enticing to Cav- too. Cavaliers, yeah. But well, it's probably some talks though, like LeBron in that shooting messages in that. Because yeah. you know, players sort of influence players. Let's oh, face yeah. it. Oh, absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think I don't think we would have made that Kevin Love trade with Wiggins if we didn't know that LeBron was coming here. Yeah. Like if mm-hmm. Kyrie, Kyrie first off resigned for five years. Hmm. Right before that, LeBron said it's a possibility I could go back to Cleveland. Mm-hmm. He knew he was going to, mm-hmm. but he didn't want to say anything till right. his contract hit up, until uh, he had the July 10th deadline or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we got LeBron, and then we were like, okay, go get Love to make a big three in Cleveland. Yeah, And that was what they did. I think we would have stuck with Wiggins if LeBron didn't sign here. Yeah. If he would have went back to Miami, we would have kept Liggins, or Liggins, yeah. Wiggins, and, uh, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. went with that. Yeah, go with the Wiggins and Kyrie set up. But that, I don't feel like a Wiggins-Kyrie would have made anywhere near the playoffs. Right. Like, I, it would have took years. Like, yeah, it would, take, it would have taken two or three years. And even then, I think that would only make us, like, like a – possibly high of a six seed in the playoffs. It would have been I, dependent I, on who they brought in also mm-hmm. around that. Yeah. Shoot. You know, NBA draft, all that. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Naquin oh. went down to the minors. Naquin went down to the minors. Speaking of Naquin, Indians drop uh, another game. They lose to the White Sox yesterday 2-1. to one. Uh, The bats are just not hitting right now. What's going on with the Indians? I mean, I mean, there was a bit of a high from, like, from just us starting the season and the Texas series. Yeah, and, like that yeah. was that was a biggie, and I, I, I'm not gonna worry too much. It's still very early in the season. Yeah, yeah. Like we're not even ten games into the season yet. I and yeah, it's one sixteenth of a season. It's it doesn't really. Yeah, matter. yeah. Like I, I wouldn't put too much on it yet. Chisholm oh, Hall's course, coming back. Naquin's sent down yeah, to Columbus. Of course, Columbus. Kyle puts way too much stock in the Angels being six and two. And that won't last. We had that yeah. conversation yesterday. Yeah. Then he said about Minnesota too. Hmm. You know, yeah, being Minnesota. five and three. Oh well, good for them. It's all cool in that, but they don't have a huge amount of depth. Right. So the, it's just they start getting those right injuries that's going to start making them suffer. Yeah, that, that's, that's the thing that happens is once you start getting the injuries, because it's a long season, yeah, it, it, is. It, it will, people will falter. Um, Indians now 4-4. Four and 
four on the season. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the standings really quick. I'm not concerned them being 500. Right. Yeah. You know. I mean, we're in a tough division anyway. Angels are six and three. Yeah. I hate yeah. the Angels. Yeah. The fact that Kyle was talking about them being six and two and then they just lost. Look at Toronto, one and seven. <laughs> wow! Think of this. This is really sort of near the first time that the whole team's actually back together. Not everyone's playing for their, you know, country and blah blah blah. Right, right, right. That. The Diamondbacks are seven and three. Reds are seven and two. Mets are six and three. The best record goes to the Cincinnati Reds at seven and two. Wow! Right now. That's mm. crazy. Yeah. If the if the season ended today, <laughs> a ten game season, <laughs> a ten game season, the Mets, the Reds, the Diamondbacks, and the Rockies and the Cubs would make the playoffs, leaving out the Nationals, Marlins, Phillies, Braves, Cardinals, Pirates, Brewers, uh, Dodgers, Padres, and Giants in the National League. Wow, that would be crazy if the Reds and the Diamondbacks had the two best records in baseball. Yeah, I, I, it's, I then again, some teams play much better early in the season. That's true. And tonight we play at six ten against the White Sox. Tomlin versus Gonzalez. Okay. Wow, Tomlin's ERA, 11.57. That's fantastic. <laughs> Jeez. Well, and you wonder a... why I say Bauer and Tomlin should be in the bullpen. Well, Tomlin, what? He was on, what, the 60? They had one, yeah, they had one game. Like it's been, if you pitch one game and you give up two runs in a six-inning span. Well, not when he had surgery that's... and all that, too, at the end of the yeah. year and that. And... Was it around? So yeah. Yeah, but like if you give up two runs in six innings, I'm trying to remember, trying to do the ERA off the top of my head. That's like a six ERA. I thought it was every run close. it goes up. It's it's all the pain strikeouts, yeah, all I'm, that. I'm trying innings, to I, it's like trying balls. to remember the. You know, I'm trying to remember how to do ERA off the top of my head. I never know. I don't remember. All right, well we're gonna take a break. When we come back, more on Beyond Question. You're listening to Lake Effect Radio. These days, learning never ends, and college really matters. So more people than ever are going to Lakeland Community College. People of every age are trying to learn something new, and Lakeland is for everyone. High school graduates just starting out, people trying to get good jobs, or just trying to improve themselves. At Lakeland, it's never too late to learn. It's our college. In Lake County, opportunity starts here at Lakeland. AC, 4P, or Actively Caring for People, presents the Day of Kindness, April 15th from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Community service initiatives will be on and off campus that day. Anyone interested, seek out an officer at S220 for information on how you can get involved. Ride Lake Tran free with your student ID. For more information, visit www.laketran.com or call 1-888-LAKETRAN. Thinking of getting engaged? Tired of mall shopping where all the jewelry looks alike? Cameo Jewelers is the store to shop for beautiful, unique diamond engagement rings, silver fashion, and Disney jewelry. Why shop online when you can get the same pricing and better quality at Cameo Jewelers? Two store locations, Menor and Chardon. Menor store liquidation, 50% off Pandora. Remember the five C's when buying a diamond. Cut clarity, color, carrots, and Cameo. Bring in your Lakeland ID for a special discount. Check out our website, CameoJewelers.com. Facebook and Twitter. Here at Lux, we focus solely on hookah. We have an extremely knowledgeable staff and we always try to make all of our customers feel at home. This is where true hookah enthusiasts come to smoke. Our prices are reasonable and our service is outstanding. We are a hookah lounge in the purest sense of the word. A hookah lounge designed and staffed by hookah fans for hookah fanatics. 
To top it off, we always go above and beyond. We are meticulous in everything that we do. We make sure that your hookah experience is of the highest possible quality. If it doesn't taste right to us, then we won't serve it to you. Majority of our customers turn into regulars and eventually friends because we pride ourselves on our product and service. It's just that simple. We want you to enjoy yourself and expect you to leave happy. If you want the best hookah experience, you come to Lux. Located at 37939 Vine Street, Willow By. We invite you to come experience the flavor and see what you've been missing. We hope to see you soon. Beyond Question brought to you by Lux Hookah Lounge, located in Willoughby, not Willoughby. Um, it's Thursday night. Go down to Lux, get some hookah. We'll be right back. Catch Mastodon, Eagles of Death Metal, and Russian Circles May 4th at the Agora. Tickets available at TicketWeb.com. Casino Night, sponsored by Lakeland Student Government. Friday, April 28th, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. On the first floor breakers, this event is free and open to all Lakeland students and staff. Play assortments of casino games, dancing to a fun DJ, use a photo booth, win prizes, enjoy some free snacks. Yes, Matt, Tom Brady is softer than Cristiano Ronaldo. Lakeland Community College. Opportunity starts here. Whether you're beginning college, changing careers, or brushing up skills, classes are offered at times that fit your busy schedule and for thousands less than four-year schools. Then complete your bachelor's degree with one of our university partners at Lakeland Holden University Center. Still convenient, still affordable, all close to home. Lakeland Community College and the Holden University Center. Stay here, go far. Visit lakelandcc.edu to learn more. With this wacky weather, it's hard to know what season we are really in. But believe it or not, it is time to start thinking summer. Summer registration, that is. Summer semester registration starts Monday, March 6th. You may want to consider taking a class or two this summer. The sessions are really short, either five weeks or eight weeks, so you can get some of your classes done over summer and be able to enjoy the nice weather. It's a really great way to get ahead on your path to finishing that degree or certificate. So visit lakewoodcc.edu forward slash summer to see what is being offered and spend your summer at the lake. I guess for now you've got the last laugh. I'm sorry if I seem uninterested. No, I'm not listening. No, I'm indifferent. Truly, I ain't got no business here. But since my friends are here, I just came to kick it. But really, I would rather be at home all by myself, not in this room. Kitchen 
This is a local music spotlight on Like Effect Radio. Morgan McCaskey, First Love. I want you to see me as I am. With broken heart and outstretched
it's so 